Hi all, Michael Teal with Presentation Plus Ups. In this video, I will walk you through how to mix and send all of your audio, your microphone, OBS, video, music, sound effects, and desktop audio all through your Zoomer Teams microphone without having to hit the share audio button. Let's plus it up, shall we? Please, you're too kind. Listen, I don't know about you, but most virtual meetings I step into have what is known as a cold open. You enter and there's, well, there's nothing, right? There's no music, no pre-session videos, just an awkward entrance. It's not good, but it is the norm. Now, there's a reason for this. Figuring out how to mix audio into a Zoom or Teams meeting is extremely tricky. I had a dream to bring back some of the positive vibes we all get when we enter a live meeting room and we hear environmental music or a great video. I didn't have an audio engineering background. This one was without a doubt the toughest hill for me to climb, but over the course of several days, well, I figured it out. Okay, a word of warning. Nothing I'm going to show you is hard, but it is procedural. So feel free to hit pause, stop, and rewind if you have any challenges. The main thing here is that I know you can do it. I've taught some incredibly non-technical people to do this, so I know you can get there if you have the will, and believe me, the payoff is so worth it. It. Now, before you get started on your own installation, I would like to recommend that you do this when you have a little time to test everything, let's say on a Friday night. I would not want you to start this at 8 a.m. on Monday when you have an 8.30 client presentation. That's a recipe for disaster. That said, let's get started. Step one, download and install virtual audio donationware from VB Audio. Com. When it comes to mixing audio, the dream here is to adopt a Death Star mentality where several lasers, I mean audio sources, can be combined to flow into your Zoomer Teams microphone. To make this happen without a lot of additional hardware, you'll need a software-based audio mixer. For the PC owner, of which I am one, I'm a fan of VBAudio.com's Voice Meter Banana. I know, super odd name. As you'll see, this tool gives you an audio control panel Panel to mix all the audio together. There's a recommended donation amount on the site, and I can say Voice Meter Banana has been very reliable. I feel it is worth every penny. So donate, download, and install Voice Meter Banana. The second item I want you to download from vbaudio.com are its virtual audio cables A and B. Again, it's donationware, so feel free to pay that modest fee. You'll use at least audio cable A to simulate a hardware audio input for your your preferred music app residing on your PC. iTunes, Spotify, you get it. More on that later, let's just get them installed first. Once you've installed and unzipped the contents, you'll want to right click and run as administrator, then reboot your computer. We'll get to how we can use these virtual audio cables in a moment, so hang tight. Step two, adjust your PC audio settings. All right, once you've rebooted your computer from the voice meter banana and the virtual cable a and B, it's time to fine tune your PC audio settings. Here's how you get this done. All right, everybody, we are taking a look at my left screen. Let's look at how we customize your PC audio settings now that you have Voice Meter Banana installed. You're going to have to trust me on this. This is a leap of faith. This is how you do it. Go down to the lower side right of your control panel, and I want you to right click the little sound icon here. All right, you're going to hit open sound settings, and on this panel on the output. I want you to select voice meter aux input. Now on the input, I want you to select voice meter aux output. So none of the other choices. Trust me on that. Don't ask why. It's almost like asking, why is there a rainbow? It works. Once you've got that going, I want you to go to the sound control panel under related settings. It'll look like a mid 90s sound settings box here. Under playback, scroll down until you see voice meter aux input and I want you to right click it, set voice meter aux input as my default communication device. So when it comes to recording, same thing as scroll down to you see voice meter aux output, right click it and set it as your default communication 
device. Once you've got that set, you're good on this section. We'll come back here a little bit later to do advanced sound options if you want to have iTunes or Spotify as the PC app set, but we'll check that out a little bit later. Step three, tune up voice meter banana. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here on my right audio screen. So for your context, that will be this screen right over here. And when we're looking at the screen, I usually will keep voice meter set right up on this top left section. This is your audio mixer. So the first thing you wanna do is hook up on this section, your microphone. So you can left click this little white text and select whatever device is the microphone that you want. The great best practice when it comes to a studio is have a secondary microphone. I have a Yeti, there's Samson's, there's all kinds of fantastic microphones out there. So set that up. And by the way, any of these names up here in light blue, you can right click them and name them what you want. Moving on over, you have a couple of additional inputs with voice meter banana that you can leverage. So I like to place my native iTunes app on the right, right next to voice meter banana. But since this is a YouTube show, I can't really show and play songs right now because I don't want to get this shut down. This is where we would hook this up. So remember I had you have a virtual audio cable A and B. We can select virtual audio cable A as my output and then we will have that ability to pipe this into OBS and then bring it out to your stream, whether it's Zoom, Teams, or even if you are live streaming. So we have that set up. All right. so OBS, the thing is OBS is coming right in through here. So this is named something else natively. I name it OBS Scenes. This this column over here, this is what's coming in from the Zoom or Teams microphone. So whatever you're hearing in your ear is coming in this way. So I have quite literally named it from Zoom or Teams. I need just very basic names for myself. So if I want it to be a little louder, I can turn it up. If I want it down, I can turn it down. So you've got some nice flexibility. You can double click these and they'll go back to just pure neutral. Now moving along to a few sliders here, here's a few important ones for you. A1 is defined as this is your primary listening device. It's your primary monitor from an audio perspective. So I have gone down here and right clicked and put A1 headphones. So however you are listening to anything in your experience, one of the best practices is have your microphone separate from your ear. This is a live for you. Now, if you want to set a few other listening devices, you can set those up. Essentially, this is where everything's coming in and outputting it. So you have that, but the one you need to set up is A1. So here's how this is working. B1, the bus B1, is going to OBS. And you notice how it says B1 here. Now take a look over here. We're sending your microphone into OBS. We are also sending iTunes into OBS. We are sending any type of video content, desktop content into OBS. And we're also listening to content from individuals from Zoomer Teams that's going into OBS. So we kind of have a double mixer going on here. But notice B2, this is going to Zoom. So this is what is being sent out of voice meter to Zoom. So that's important because you want to be able to hear in your A1 what's coming in from Zoom. What I want you to do is just look at these. If you need to freeze frame it, just make sure all these buttons are set exactly like this. Things from Zoom, you do not want B2 click because that will loop whatever's coming from Zoom or Teams. It'll loop it back into their ear and you'll get that crazy reverberation. And again, I'm not an engineer. I'm not, not a doctor, but I do get guarantee of this is how you get it to work and how everything mixes nicely. Step four, tune up OBS. These are the settings I want you to calibrate so that OBS plays nicely with the voice meter. And you can see they both have a role in mixing various pieces. So what I'm going to do, first have you go up to File and go to Settings. And under Settings, I want you to go to Audio. And under Audio here, what I want you to do is take a look at these settings. For Desktop Audio, we want anything that will be running through voice meter to come into OBS. So we want to select voice meter auxiliary input. Remember, we set that in our PC sound settings as our default playback device. When it comes to the microphone or any auxiliary audio, so perfect auxiliary audio would be something like this. Okay. 
You want all those kind of fun sound effects running into OBS as well, in addition to any kind of voice modulations that we might have. That's key for you. So set those two up and then down here under advanced, go ahead and select voice meter input. So notice how this is not aux input. This is voice meter input and it says voice meter VIO. That's important because I'll run you back over to your right screen and on that right screen, remember there was a voice meter bio over here. This is how these two work together nicely in place. So you can both hear what's going in the ear, but you can also make sure that's going out to your audience. And that's going to be important because the next thing we're going to do is show you how when you add a, a video or, or if you want to capture any output, for example, from your desktop, this is how you do it. So we're just going to pull in a video that has some sound and I'll let you see how that works. Okay, so when you have a video and you want it to play, what you need to do, we'll use the iTunes as an example. You want to select this gear, go to advanced audio properties, find your asset. So for example, in this case, it's iTunes and under audio monitoring, that's the ability to hear it, but also the output is you go under and you select monitor and output that'll allow you to hear it. And also that's is the output that sends it out. This is how this video will play. You'll hear it in just a minute when I cue it over. So what I'll do right now, I'm going hitting the gear, going to advanced audio properties, and I will select monitor and output. The shot on the aid. That is how you do it. Anytime you add in a video that you want to pipe in to your Zoom, Teams, WebEx, that is how you do it. So I want you to prepare for that. When you're adding videos, test it beforehand. You don't want to just add in a video five minutes before you want to put it in. Make sure you've got the level set. So specifically, you can see you've got a whole secondary set of monitoring in terms of how loud you want things to be. You want to fine tune it in OBS, but with everything we showed you in the previous step in voice meter. They work together. It's just a fantastic way to go. All right, we're on step five, which is linking in your preferred music app. So the first step I want you to do, go into the Microsoft Store. And if you are a Spotify user, for example, you can see, well, Spotify just pulls up immediately right here. You download the app and open it. So when I want to hook this up with a special virtual audio cable, so it's piping into voice meter, so I can then pipe it into the microphone and Zoomer Teams, here's how you do it. So again, first thing is just have the app open. That's a key thing for your computer to recognize it. Then on your primary screen, what I want you to do is go back down to that sound settings button and right click and hit open sound settings again. In the sound settings area, go down to where it says advanced sound options and select the device preferences. Now, if you have iTunes open, it will show up and be recognized. What I want you to do is select, you guessed it, cable A input. That's our special additional cable that we purchased via Donationware. That's going to be the input and the output for iTunes. All right. So once you've done that, it's almost like a game of ping pong. We're going to go back over to our right screen and under this second left column where we discussed, I want you to go in, left click and select cable A output. If you've done that now, when I press play, so let me just, I'm going to pick a song here. Here's Africa. Okay. So I'm going to play just a couple seconds. So I've got a one set so I can hear it through my headphones and B1, B2 means this is looping out to Zoomer Teams and coming back in. So let's just play a couple seconds here. I'll turn it up. That's the idea. By the way, if you want to mute it while it's playing, you can hit the mute button. I will say this. If you mute your Zoomer Teams, you're muting all these channels from voice meter. You're not getting those piped in. So if you just want to mute your microphone, and pipe in music, now you have that ability. You can hit microphone and you would play your music. So I'm just, if I mute it, you can't hear me, you get the, the mind bender here. But that is the idea is that if you mute it, you can play your music, people cannot hear your microphone. So it gives you a very powerful way to give additional audio visual, it really turns you into a DJ now, so you can do all kinds of things. Please, please. You're too kind, okay? All right, so we've got most of the challenges done at this point. 
It is time now to adjust your Zoom or Teams settings. It works a little differently in each one. So let's start with Zoom first, then I'll walk you through the Teams audio settings. So while we're here, let me just resize my screen to get this about set where I would normally be. All right, so what we're going to do is go into our device settings. So I'm going to select the gear and within our settings, I want you to select audio or your speaker is select voice meter aux input. That might sound familiar, right? We're using the same settings as your PC. So this is going to be your speaker and you can test it just like you always would. As long as you're your A1, your monitoring device is live. You can hit test. Cool, cool. And this works exactly the same. You can see for microphone, select voice meter aux output, which might sound familiar because that's how we're mixing all these sounds. That's how we're going to mix your microphone, your iTunes, OBS. We're piping that in, cue sound effect, like a Death Star laser and putting it into Zoom or Teams. Now there's a couple of other things that are very, very important for you to do while we're here. And that is go down here to your noise suppression settings. And what I want you to do is select low for your, your background noise. And I want you to under music and professional audio, select high fidelity music mode to give you that best sound quality. All right, so take a good look at that. These are the noise suppression settings for Zoom. If you do not have these set and you're playing music, it'll think that the music is a noise that needs to be suppressed and people will not hear your sound, whether it's the video coming from your OBS from uh, an audio video playback or it's your music. So this is key and it's something first the first few times you do this to get in here and look at it. For me, since I've trusted these settings, um, I don't really look at these anymore. I just know that they're going to work. But I will say this, if you happen to plug in a brand new source, so if you get a new snazzy set of Apple AirPods and you've set up the Bluetooth or you plug in a new hardwired USB port, I would say you'll want to go back to your PC settings and whether it's your Zoom or Team settings and just make sure that they're set to voice meter aux input, voice meter aux output, Output and you're back to the races, but that's a great troubleshoot. So that's that. Let's check out Teams now. So if you are a Teams shop, and really this works the same way for WebEx, but I'm just gonna bring over my, my team settings and let's get into the device settings for Teams. And you'll see they'll be very, very similar, very similar. Some notable differences. Let's go to devices and you'll see we wanna do a custom setup. Voice meter aux input, voice meter aux output. Hopefully you're getting the flavor of that. And what I want you to do, and this is that noise suppression setting, is set up noise suppression too low. You set those up and then test everything out. All right, we're on to the final step and that's just testing with a friend or if you happen to have a second laptop and can set up a, a secondary Zoom meeting or Teams meeting, test out your new toys. So once you have a video hooked up in OBS, go ahead and play that to somebody and say, can you hear it? And fine tune those volume knobs for the video until it gets to the, the setting you like. Same thing for your Apple Music. But here's some royalty-free music. I'll just go ahead and play that right now for you. I'll listen to it. And generally, I'll fine tune these. If it's something you wanna talk over, you'll, again, you wanna play with this with others, but you know, something in the negative 30, 32, 33 type thing. And then if you're wanting to jam it, turning it up, okay? And then as you can see, you can hit mute and it will mute the source. So handy stuff. That is the biggest game changer just to add music back and more of that audio visual experience. Okay, so as I said, this one was a monster, but it is very critical. If you want to have the best experience, you have to have audio, specifically just to even play basic videos, but just to really change your game, audio is the key. It is by far the most complex of any of the elements related to engineering a home-based broadcast experience for your Zoom or Teams. So that gives you everything that we're now doing. We can have the fun, we can kick in music just have a good time doing it. You won't believe the smiles you'll get from people doing it. So thank you so much on behalf 
This is a passion project of mine. I'm dedicated to helping business users elevate their ability to communicate in a virtual world. I think there's a lot of power here once you get this set up going. I can't wait for you. Please post your comments below if you have any questions. If you have something you want me to tackle that's PC related, I'll be glad to do that. Again, my commitment is at least one video a week while I'm holding down my full-time job. But thanks so much and please, please, please make it a great day.